about ignite, we usually are using that term in a metaphorical sense, right? We're using storytelling to make us think, to make us laugh, to make us feel. Well, I want to talk about ignition in the rapid oxidization sense of real fire, <laughs> the magic of fire, that, that, that uh, dangerous servant, that fearful master, that generator of heat and passion and inspiration. Stop at the cycle battle, Richard. I love fire. I love making fires. And over the last decade or so, on a sliver of beach up in the northern coast of California with many friends, we've increasingly made fires and more elaborate fires over as time has gone on, more fanciful. Chainsaws came into the equation. We'd spend days building them and hours enjoying them, cracking wise, telling lies, sharing our hopes and dreams, all of those wonderful things that make a fire on a beach so exquisite. Several years ago, as a matter of fact, we were having a fire, one of these that's coming up quite shortly. It was a big structure of many towers. We were there for hours, and it was like 9 o'clock, 9.30 at night, very dark. And all of a sudden, out of the darkness, a park ranger from the state park nearby came up to me. And he said, he looked at the fire, and he looked at me, and he said, nice fire. <laughs> but, but, one of your neighbors has called the fire department and reported a structure fire on the beach. And I went, excuse me? I mean, look, you see what we have here? It's a fire. It's perfectly legitimate. We've done all the right things. We've got water and we've got shovels. Everything's safe. It's perfectly legal. He says, you're absolutely right. However, the fire department is indeed on its way. And sure enough, two minutes later, I turned around and looked, and there are 15 firefighters in full battle regalia coming down the 86 steps from the bluff above to the beach below. And they finally get down to the fire, and the captain of the brigade, men and women, by the way, of a volunteer fire department who got out of their cozy beds to come deal with this apparent pyromaniacal fool on the beach building fires. And the captain of the brigade comes up to me and he says, and he looks at the fire and he looks at me and he says, nice fire. <laughs> he says, but I have a question to ask you, just one question. What is the purpose of your fire? Is the purpose of your fire a warming fire or is it a ceremonial fire? And my wife is tugging on my sleeve saying, Richard, give this a moment of thought. And I said, no. I looked at the heavens, the Milky Way is popping out. And I said, of course, it's a ceremonial fire. <laughs> and he looks at me and he says, good answer. <laughs> so it said it was a warming fire by protocol. I'd have to tell you either you put it out or we'll put it out for you. But since it's a ceremonial fire, it's entirely within your right. Have a good evening. <laughs> sons of some friends, he comes up to me after, he says, this has been the greatest day of my life. <laughs> and then really, that's what it's all about. It's about making memories. And for him, this was a great memory, right? And, and, and that's what we try to do now, is increasingly make memories. And in fact, I posted a photo recently in one of the fires, and a friend of mine looked at that photo, and he says, like, what are you trying to do? Make fires that can be seen from space? And I went, oh, interesting. <laughs> And this fellow, by the way, he works for a space agency, and I said, you know, well, can it be seen from space? And he said, let me check. And he came back a couple of days later, and he sent me an email. He said, well, we've checked it out, and the fires are building, no, they can't be seen from space, but if you make them 10x bigger, and then it all in caps, he said, but I don't recommend this. But of course, I don't read things in all caps, and I just went, 10x, 10x, I work at Google, and I don't know, Larry Page at Google is always telling us, be audacious, think big, think 10x, 10x. So I have a new objective now. I have a new objective now to build a fire that can be seen from space. And so that's what we're looking to do. But in truth, as I said, this is really about creating memories. And that's what we're, what we're going to do. We're going to keep building fires and more magical fires and trying to figure out ways for us to have a great time and enjoying each other. And I think that's really the lesson in this for us this evening is to get together, share our thoughts, share our inspirations, share our fears, share our joys and laughter, and in so doing, create for ourselves some great memories. Thank <laughs> you.